Hey everybody, this is Kathy Crowder's Mountain, North Carolina, and this is Barn Quilts by Mountain Visions. Look what we're going to do today. I was asked to do this by a subscriber, and it's been a month or so ago, but I finally got around to doing it. Now, I found a quilt pattern that had this butterfly, so I just designed it according to that quilt pattern and that's why it looks like it does. Now you could use all kind of different colors. You could use orange and blues and turquoise, whatever you wanted to use. But we have a lot of monarch butterflies around our house, so that's kind of why I patterned this one with different shades of yellow. And I'll show you my shades, or I'll show you my colors um, when we get through with the pattern. So let's just go ahead and start on the pattern. Now. I have made this on 18 by 18. So this is 18 by 18 inches. And so you need 18 one inch squares. Now let me show you what I've done. I'm hoping against hope <laughs> that you can see these. I got a, another pack of the flip chart paper and at first, I thought, no, it, it wasn't even on the edges. None of them, none of the blocks were full one inch on each edge. And I was kind of disappointed at first, but then I noticed that these, the blue lines were darker on that particular brand. So I'm thinking you guys can see this. Because that's what I needed to do. I needed... 18 one inch squares for the pattern that I created. So if you're doing a two by two, just divide 18 into 24 and whatever that answer is, that's the width and size you need for your blocks. But you need 18 blocks across and up for this particular pattern. So I'm gonna, again, um, I did not draw it on this paper and then put it on my board. I drew my pattern out, I created it, and then I just drew it on my board with my heat erasable pens that I've shown you guys. And before I forget to say this, I, I had to do my board in the one by one. You know, I, I took my heat erasable pens and I marked them off one inch square all the way around and connected my tick marks. So my board looked just like this, only it was a heat erasable pen. So it was like black, I think is what I had. But anyway, you, you know, we talk about how to get rid of those tick marks, how to get rid of your grid lines and that kind of thing. Well. I'll cut this part out if I find the little film. But I wanted to show you, I, I used my heat, uh, heat tool to get rid of my lines in my pattern as I was taping it up. But then when I finished, when I finished dry, uh, painting the whole entire thing, see I had grid marks all in here. And instead of taking my heat tool to get rid of them, I just took a damp cloth and I just wiped them off like that. And uh, that was before I painted this background. And they just came off just beautiful. And I looked up and the camera was off. So I don't think that I got that on tape, but I just wanted to stop long enough and, rem and just tell you what I did. If you've got your grid marks all on there, instead of taking the heat tool, you can always just take a damp cloth and then wipe them off and they're gone. So that's enough of that story, right? All right, let's get busy drawing our pattern. And I'm trying to make sure I got it even here where you can see it all. All right. Let's go. Now the first thing that I did 
was I found the middle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I found the middle here, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And all I'm doing is making Seven, eight, nine. I had to make sure I got that right. All right, you see that at at the ninth block, I made a tip mark. Now I want I want mine. You see how I did it? My butterfly is flying off to the right, so you could hang it this way if you wanted to, or that way. I guess you could hang it going that way, too. But anyway, you know what I mean? So I wanted mine going off to the right. So the first thing that I did was blocked it off. So I'm just marking these with the Sharpies so that y'all could see the lines and take your screenshots when you want to. So I'm just I'm connecting these two tick marks. And all I'm doing is drawing a square. Now, the reason I did that was because I wanted my butterfly to be in the center of my board. Now, you can um, go to Google or Pinterest or somewhere and find other butterfly patterns. And you can design yours any way you want to. But this is the one that I did for y'all. Because I wasn't sure about those other patterns, who they belonged to. So I really didn't feel comfortable teaching you how to do somebody else's work. You know what I mean? So anyway, so we've got our block here. Now... This one is going to be kind of tricky telling you how to do it, but we're going to use our tick marks. So, and then I will, I'm going to make them big enough to where they'll show up on here. And then all we're going to do is connect the dots once we get that done. All right, so we're going to start here at the bottom. And we're going to count up two. I'm going to put a tick mark here. Make sure it, you can see it. We're going to go over two and put a tick mark. All right, then we're going to go over two more, one, two, and go up two and have a tick mark. And... Let's go back over here, and we're going to go over one and up two and have a tick mark here. All right. Now, that, that's part of the wing. But before I connect those dots, let me draw his body right here, and that might center y'all a little bit better when you're doing it. So we'll, we'll do this first, then we'll come back to that. So we're gonna go up one, two, the ha this half, count that one, two, and then three. And in this space, this block, it's count one, two, three, and the very next block, all we're gonna do is draw lines on that box right here. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we're going to draw lines on this block. You see that? And that's going to be his body. And we're just going to connect those two lines. All 
There you go. See, that's his body. So now let's go back down to the wing. I just thought maybe that might give y'all a point of reference before we start on the other. All right. All right, so we need a tick mark. See, that's the bottom, his bottom. So up, up one, over, like in here, go over one right in the middle. And in here, go over to the left one and right in the middle. So that's our tick marks there. Now, this could be a point based if you wanted to measure but I just thought it was easier for the, with doing it with the blocks to show you guys. So anyway, now let's connect some some of these down here. This first thing that we did here, we're going to connect it. And let me use red so I don't cover up your tick marks when you go to take the screenshot. We're going to connect that one. And then we're going to go up here and connect that one. All right, now we're going to go here to where we started. And we're going to connect that one. Now that's part of his wing. Let's make some more tick marks now. I just wanted to give you an idea of what we're doing here. So we're going to do that with all four wings but I'll go slow. So we're right here. And we're going to go up one, two, three. We're going to here. And here. So that there's your top of his head. There's this block and at the bottom of that block. And let's do another one over here. Because when we get that wing drawn, we'll need that. Alright, so let's get our red one back out. I wrote on that. Let me see if I can get rid of that. That'll throw y'all off when you're looking at it. All right. So now we drew that one. Then we're going to just draw it into the body. All right. Let's see. That's one wing. The beginning of one wing. <laughs> All right. Now over here, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go up to, draw us a tick mark there, come down to, draw a tick mark. We're going to go over to, and draw a tick mark, and see it's in the same line with that one. And then there's that tick mark. Alright, so back over here, we're going to go up to, See, once you have this on your screen, um, your screenshot, it, it's just, it's not going to be hard. Okay. Let me think what I'm doing. Over, up, up. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Get my brain right. Oh, okay. Got it. Here. Wow, I'm telling you what. I couldn't see that. <laughs> and see, that's... <laughs> That's the thing with drawing these. It's like sometimes you lose your, your focus. All right, so let's draw from here down. Let's 
I almost forgot to make that line because I'm looking at it backward. I've got my little paper pattern over here that I first drew and that's what I'm going by. Alright, so then up and over. Now there you go. We got these two wings almost. Alright, now let's let's start on the top wing and then we're gonna fill in the detail work. But we're just drawing the outline of it now. Alright. We need to go over to so you just going to you just going up. Like from here diagonally to that second one. Oh, that's the red. Okay, then we're going to go up to the very end of our block. You got these two. So it's at the bottom of that one. And we need another tick mark here. You go over to. And then we're going to go down in this same row. We're going to go down three and put one in the left-hand corner there. And then we're just going to come down and put one right at the corner of his head. All right, and we're going to do the same thing over here. Put one at the corner of his head. We're going to go up. See, one, two, three, and that one's it. One, two, three, and this one's it. And when I was drawing it, that kind of threw me off for a minute, but just remember it's out these, the three. And once you get that one right, the other ones are not hard to do. So we're going to go over here in this corner. See, there's these two. And we're going to put tick marks there. And then we're going to come down. That one, this one, this one. This one. See, that way it'll end up being across, diagonally across from that. And we're going to put a tick mark. All right, then there's your next one. So, let's take our red marker and we're going to draw that one out. See, all we're doing now is connecting the tick marks. Okay, you see that? So we've got a butterfly now, but we have to put the detail in there. So now we're going to make these lines, these outlines right here. That's all we're going to do is these outlines. We've already made this, we've already made the wings. Okay, so we're going to take our black marker again and make us some tick marks. So the only thing we have to do is go right here in this corner, put your tick mark here, go down to these two and put a tick mark at the top, and then over here, see this first side one right here, put it right in the middle. All right, and we're going to do the same thing over here. Put it in the middle. And then we're going to go right here on this this two inch block, you know, the two, two inch line. We're going
we're going to put our dot here and then here. I want to make sure them's big enough for you to see. And y'all be taking screenshots along the way if you want to. Alright, so that that's how we're going to draw the first, you know, the bottom wing, the outlines on the bottom of the wing. See, that's it. See? That's good. All right. Now let's do the top. So first thing we need to do is find the center of this one. And right here, we're going to find the center of that one. You can measure it off to get it exact if you want to. We're going to put a tick mark here in the middle of this one and one on the exact opposite side. We're going to go here to this tick mark and put one right up above it. And we're going to the middle of this one on the left. All right. And we also need, let's see, let's go here, so we've got that one, we need to go to this one and put one in the, in the middle. All right, then we're going to go right here, put one there, and then we're going to come down to this block and put one. So let's go back over here now. We've got that one. We need to go up. I'm going to them in halfway, halfway here, over here to these two, put one there, and then we're going to come down to here and put one. That's right. That's wrong. It's right here, matching this one. No, it ain't. I'm sorry. It's this one, not that one. I had it right. It needs to match that one. And then these match. All right. I'll, I'll put that, um, I just don't pay any attention to that. <laughs> All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna draw, we're gonna line our ruler up across here. Now, you know, I didn't measure those dots, so but I'm going to correct them. Well, that looked pretty good. It's hard to correct them with my ruler, but they looking all right. All right, then we're going to connect these. And this one. This one. And this one goes down to here. You see that? That's the outline. on the top. And I'll show you the picture again in a minute. So, we're going here. 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 And then back here. Alright. And one more here. Alright. Now there you go. This is what we've got. We just drew this. This outline. Alright, now we're going to put, and I'm going to use the blue magic marker for that. All we're going to do now is just draw our lines. 
Let's do the easy ones first on the bottom. You see these marks? These rows here? You've got that if you did the one by one block. So all we're going to do, that's part of our pattern. show you. Alright, you see those lines? That's these lines. That That's all I did. I drew them and then I painted them. And you could angle this one a little bit more and, and that's up to you and have it going down this way. I'll do that other one like that. And you, you could either do it straight or angle it. Either way looks good. You wouldn't have that line there if you angled it that way. So either way, either, either way is fine. All right, now let's do the top. We're, we're going to follow these lines. So at this this first block on each one. We're just going to go up to this block. No, let's go up to the top of that one. Actually, you you know you can line them up. You can line them up the way you want to, but this. This way just gives it some definition here. So you've got these two, and then I just divided these three in half. I just went across it like that, trying to center, you know, my lines with another line. See that? I just had three going off to the side, one straight up, and three going off to the side. And you can make them as big or little as you want to. But I was trying to get mine lined up with another line, another angle somewhere, so I could kind of make sure I did them the same. There you go. And there you go. Now there's your butterfly. You see, you see how I did that? There's this straight line here. And then one, two, three. One, two, three. Alright, now just in case, I'll do one of the flowers. Just in case you, you don't know how to do that. But I imagine. Most of you do. All right, so in the corner, once I do it one time, you'll see it, and you just do the same thing in every corner. All right, I blocked off three blocks. See three blocks. Now this one, these are my colors. I did it in black. This one is lavender and this one is a light blue. Alright, now that that's what I did. You color yours the way you want to. You may want yellow. I just felt like I had enough yellow in mine. But for the flowers, you, you see this row here? All we're going to do is start at the end of this first block, right at, right at the top right. And we're just going to draw a line. You go up one, two, three, and on the left. And that's where we're just going to draw a line. 
and then from here to here. Now that makes that first petal, or uh, well, makes the first uh, like it, it like it's your leaf or your flower petal. See, there's the other side. And I did that. That was a lavender, so I did that in dark purple. All right, so we're going to do another one right here. We're just going to the end of this second block and drawing up. Here's your light blue. That The last block, go up one and right in the corner. That's where we're going. See? And once you do that a couple times, it's not hard to figure out. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. We're going to go to the bottom of that light blue one. All right. Wait a minute. You know, I'm always getting mixed up on these. There it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> hey, y'all, I'm crazy. All right, this block right here, I'm right in the end of it, right at the end of that lavender one. And I'm going to stay in line with that, the bottom of that light blue one. Sometimes I'll make it hard. <laughs> alright. And that's all you have to do all the way around there. But just remember, you're drawing these on an angle. And then you go up one and draw two. See, this one's three and this one's two. So you've got, you've got the center of your flower here. So you can paint that any color you want to. You could let that be green for the leaves and the flower be yellow, whatever you want to do. See? See, that's how mine is. So you might want to take a screenshot of that if you've never drawn these flowers before. And if you could do freehand work, you could draw. There's lots of different flowers you could draw right in there. Okay, so here you go. Take a screenshot of it. And remember to hit the subscribe button if you hadn't already subscribed. <laughs> and join the fun and we'll be back in the next video. I'm not sure if it's gonna be a complicated one or not, but this one was not too bad. So, oh, oh, I almost forgot, didn't I? I almost forgot to show you my colors. Hang on a minute. All right, let's see if we can do this. I took five different colors of yellow. See these five? I put the darkest one in the middle, and that was Sunset Glow. Now, if you don't have five shades of yellow, just take your darkest one and lighten it up a couple of times and get medium. You don't have to have five colors. All right, then, then I also used, uh, this one is English Daisy. And I had on the here, this one was Sun Spark. All right, and then see that one was in the middle. And then I used Golden Butter and Extreme Yellow. Now, up here I only had four, so I left off the Extreme Yellow. And I used Sunset Glow right here, Sun Spark. Golden Butter and English Daisy. Alright. I used Aerial View 
from, from my background because butterflies sky, fly around in the sky. Uh, for my blacks, I wanted a different shade of black for the body and I used new black. And so for uh, the edge of his wings, I wanted them to shine a little bit so I used limousine leather and that's uh, all of these are semi-gloss. All right, and I used the limousine black again for my corners here. Now, let me see if I can get you down low enough to where you could see it. See that? Okay, there you go. All right, so for my purple here, I used purple prints. And there'll be a link, not a link, there'll be a pl uh, um. I'll, let, I'll put it down below where to go get these bottles at. And if you use code Kathy10, you get 10% off. I, I don't make nothing off of it. I just ask her if she would give me a code to give y'all a discount. All right, and she did. So here's Purple Gala. Again, you could put a little white in your purple and have different shades. Then I used, for my dark blue, I used Miracle at Wrigley. And I used something borrowed right here. And that was it. That's all the colors. Okay. Now, there you go. I have to have my cheat sheet over here. I tell you what I did. I painted another dahlia, and I noticed, you know, you do touch ups and touch ups and touch ups, but I noticed a little tiny speck that I didn't like, and I was going to get rid of it. And I did not write down what that background color was. I just knew I knew it was coconut milk, but it wasn't. It was polished ivory. So when I put the coconut milk on top of it, it looked like a big old brown stain. I went back and fixed my book, <laughs> and I thought, oh, well, I got to be better at writing down the background. I get so focused on what colors I'm using that I forget sometimes to write that background down, and it, all the different shades of white makes a difference. <laughs> okay. Y'all have fun making this butterfly. And let me know if you make it or if you have any questions, just comment below. See you all in the next video.